Hello, light people. I'm Italia. I'm a high frequency artist, spiritual teacher, and energy reader. This is a timeless oracle reading. Take it if it resonates. I have the tea leaf deck here with me. Let's see which month of the year is relevant to this reading. January. Something may be happening since January, or it could be your birthday month. Let's see now what is the theme of the reading. Happiness. Okay. Let's see the cards. You may be dealing with an Aries man or a very aggressive woman. A woman with a lot of masculine energy. It could be a partner, someone on your family, or someone you're dealing with in the workspace. Here in the back card, it demonstrates that it's very likely this is probably about your work situation. This rat could be the person who works with you and who is being very deceptive. I just saw this card in the bottom of the deck. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So someone, probably in the workplace, is making your life a little hell. This person is very greedy and maybe getting in your way of getting a promotion or something like that. Or maybe it's someone that works for you. An employee. If this is the case, this person may not have been honest. So I would advise you to pay attention to your finances. This person might be keeping secrets from you. This situation is making you feel depressed, sick, or frustrated. You feel like things are not going to work out for you and this is stressing you out big time so what should you do about it let's ask for some advice we get turkey someone is behaving stupidly yeah we know that right this is the person you're dealing with that was just a confirmation let's ask for the advice again reconciliation well, I don't feel this reconciliation should be with this person because you simply cannot reason with this person. No, I feel that this reconciliation is with yourself. And this may sound strange, but let me explain. This situation is affecting your happiness. So you need to find a way to be at peace. This is about you finding a way to feel calm and happy again. What can you do in this situation so that you can feel at ease again? You need to make a decision here. If this person is working for you, I would advise you to investigate if what he or she is doing is harming you in any way, especially financially. And if you feel called to, let this person go. It's not advisable to keep someone who is not honest around you. If this person is working with you, or if it is a family member or a partner, it's a little harder to know what to do. The cards are not giving any specific advice, so what I get from that is that it's you who need to decide on this situation. Either way, you need to be in a meditative space of mind to make a good decision. You need to be with a very clear mind and very much inside your body, meaning you need to be in your full sense of self to be sure of what to do. You need to be in a relaxed state. I'm sensing two things that you can do to help you out on this situation. The first option 
is to search on YouTube a guided meditation that you can do to help you enter a more aligned state of mind. I have a chakra meditation on the channel if you feel called to it, or you can find a breathwork exercise video. It helps a lot too. This will clear your mind and make you feel relaxed. And you can only make this decision or have clarity on what to do if you are on a relaxed state. The second option is a very powerful technique that I personally use when I don't know what to do on a situation. This only works while you are feeling intense emotions about the situation. You can use this technique while you are feeling those raw emotions like frustration or deep sadness. When we are in this place, it's very unlikely that meditation will work. So do this instead. Sit down, grab a piece of paper and start writing everything that comes to your mind. Everything that you are feeling, put it all on paper. I hate the situation. This person did this. I'm feeling this. Why is this happening to me? What do I do? Just keep writing without thinking or analyzing. Try to write as fast as you can. You'll notice that your handwriting begins to get uglier and uglier. You may stop using commas or worrying about the correct grammar because you're just focusing on putting all the feelings out. Then you notice a shift, a very important shift. Without warning, you stop using I and you start using you. This is when the magic happens. You have just connected to your higher self and it starts to talk to you. You are feeling this. You should do this. This is happening because of that. And you will get your answers as long as you don't try to rationalize things. Enter the flow state of writing and let the answer come without judging it. This is very important. No judgment. The advice that comes from your higher self on what you should do may be something that you never thought of, or it may take you a few days to actually understand what it meant. But this really works for me and for everyone I've shared this technique with. I hope this helps you find a solution on what to do with this person. If it works, please let me know. See you soon. Much love, light and truth.